right? So it's not Muslims or people with mental health problems who are most likely to kill you in a terrorist attack. It's men. That's right. The Independent is blaming that these men were not extremists who were killing all these people in Europe, right? It's a, it's a product of toxic masculinity. That's the problem here. All these migrants coming in are men. Are, are they going to say anything about those men? Of course not. They just want to go after white men. Well, but this is the thing. They group all of us together in one bunch, right? This, the pink black block that we saw uh, when there were comments about the uh, rapes that occurred at Swedish music festivals, uh, men collectively were responsible for these actions. Um, and it was nothing about the fact that these cultural differences or racial differences or biological differences. So, you know. Well, it's just funny because it goes on to basically talk about how. Basically, what they're saying is that leftist, effeminate, gay culture <laughs> is the way to go. And it's like, yeah, because that's going to stop terrorism and violence, right? Gay pride festivals and dildos are going to stop invaders <laughs> from, from invading and murdering our people and stuff, you know. And then first off, too, loads of female terrorists and violent women exist, okay? They're yeah, trying to act like there's no women that are ever violent, no women that are terrorists or serial killers, you know. And meanwhile, they're calling to dismantle masculinity, which is like using force and violence. You know, it's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. But saying they're basically saying that these poor terrorists are a product of our Western masculine right wing and white supremacist society. So Absolutely. it's not really their their fault that they're mass murdering Europeans. It's not Islam. It's not racial differences. It's really white supremacy's fault. Right. And, and of course, yeah. only white males can be racist, hateful and aggressive, not women, not migrants, because they don't have any power. I mean, who believes this crap? Well, check this headline uh, coming out of Sweden here, too. Uh, he says, even terrorists are actually human beings, right? They're trying to justify uh, basically these actions of the terror wave that we've seen recently. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's like toxic masculinity. What are you talking about? It's, it's masculinity, white masculinity that's built society, all the modern day technology that they use daily, making their life easier. Without masculinity, they couldn't be spewing all these, you know, all this liberal filth online. They wouldn't yep. even have the Internet. Right. I mean, they live in white liberal la la land. They're so out of touch with the rest of the non-white world that experiences civil war and violence daily there's no white people lording over them there but they're easily killing each other attacking each other raping doing all kinds of horrible things that's why they all want to come to our country you know yep, that's right but it's never acknowledging what white men have created all the good things that they have built i mean these are yep, just yeah more yep. of these psychotic feminists that just want total female rule female supremacy and they would murder every straight white male if they could i mean seriously mm, yeah. these are crazy crazy people but that's it i mean i i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a, somehow a force of nature that has possessed these people uh, and they're somehow trying to equalize an an, an issue where we have you know, given given up our, our you know, our, our way of life, basically, to such a degree that the force of nature is just coming in and taking over. It's just like tr trying to find some way of removing us. Do you see what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like yeah. th there's something else going on here because the the uh, psychopathy and the, the insanity from these people is uh, it's, it's like something above the human mind almost. It's like a weak, it's people. like a weak animal and a predator knows when there's a weak animal. Good. I'll go for pick that one off first. You right, know, right. that gazelle has is limping. Let me go after it. Easy meal. I think the only thing that we should recognize in this situation is that uh, we haven't begun to actually put up any kind of resistance to this yet, mm -hmm. more or less. Not organized anyway, right? There's some indications in, in terms of politics or some indications in terms of um you know movements and people getting together and groups and these vigilante groups that i mentioned before but i mean we haven't seen anything yet that's my point and i think if we put our mind to it if we started to do something which actually is starting to push back this insanity uh, you would see a very different attitude